God loves the brown church because we are his children too. In the beautiful picture in Revelation chapter 7, all the tribes and nations and people of every language and tongue, we are one of those tribes. And we're often left out and forgotten in the church. We find ourselves as the Latino community in between the racial discourse of black and white. In the middle, metaphorically brown. In that sense, it's not just Latinos who are brown. Brown can refer to anyone who feels themselves in between. And to all who wander, the Brown Church says welcome. It's important to note that the Brown Church was born six years before the Protestant Catholic divide, six years before Luther nailed his famous theses. And from that moment on, Latina Latino Christians have challenged everything from colonialism to Jim Crow segregation to the exploitation of undocumented immigrants and on and on in the name of Jesus and in the power of God's local church. Oftentimes people think that when you pursue justice, you have to lose Jesus. But Cesar Chavez himself said, the only justice is Christ. And Latino theology says that Jesus himself was a marginalized Galilean that he himself was brown. My name is Dr. Robert Chow Romero. I'm a pastor. I'm a professor at UCLA of Chicano Latino Studies. I'm a lawyer. And I invite you on this journey to explore the rich 500-year history of the Brown Church. <laughs>